Do you like more backstory? Here, I met Oximeter. Oximeter. Oximeter just walks in a straight line without letting anything change his path. And that's what Oximeter does. He reminds me of the guy from Rayman 3. You know the ones. There was also Helm. Helm needed to be invisible. So he removed the eyes from anything that could see him. <laughs> Luckily, he never became invisible to me. This guy is a bit creepy. Let me tell you that. Which is why we're gonna fight more dudes. <laughs> also, we're just gonna shoot him. Also, one, one thing I love about like this level, I don't know, actually, we can't see it right now, but freaking Oxamita is just kind of walking through it. He's going about his business. Haha! Take that! Keep going! Keep going! Does this guy not care anymore? Alright, who cares? <laughs> so you can't kind of use the guns to just completely wreck people. This guy's just kind of sitting there. Bird. Go through the tunnel. Woo! And suddenly this thing just opens up because some guy felt like it. But he'd rather lead us into a trap. Or we can sprint for so long just so the game reminds us that we can run out of stamina. Yeah, our guns aren't good. Check the guns. He's got, he's got a stick. Get the stick. Oh. Before I get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Now, now it's a bit hard to use mainly because if someone punches you, you're most likely going to drop it. But it's so good if you can just beat everyone over the head with it. Like you can just stand there and just go whoosh. Oh. For the most part. I am a good punch, I'm gonna tell you that. Give him punch. Is this guy still alive? I guess not. Okay. So we got the club. Oh, there's a guy. You ready for it? Here it goes. Just using this thing. It's just like no one can stand up to it, and you can beat him like way across the level. It's great. Chicken. Chicken. There we go. Kicked it. Now we gotta kill, heal him. Or well, I don't know about kill, but just beat them up enough. Now this guy's a bit of a jerk, mainly because he's over there. Get back here! I need a. Okay. Here's Oxamela. Kick. Kick the chickens. Oh. You got these things. They're a bit of a jerk. Here's Oxamela. Here he goes. Also, these guys will love eating chickens. They also let you just kind of beat them up with a stick. There you go, there's more achievement progress. It doesn't reset across saves though, they just kind of want you to kill 40 chickens. So eventually you can... Just kind of do it a lot. There we go. Oh. A bee! I don't know if that's a bee. So this guy's still back out over there. So like, what is he doing? What is he doing with this time? I gotta fight all these dudes. Ow. Care to be a bit nicer next time, maybe ask before you spit, like... And you do, you can stop. And you, as well. Young man, get back to your room. This guy is just walking in that straight line. I eat some of this orange. He just keeps on going in his merry way. Where is he going? Where's the other guy gone? Should we... Do we need to be fighting that other guy? This guy just kind of keeps going. There we go. I guess he... I guess he came back. There he goes. 
too bad. He sucks against this club. Oh, oh, but he can't block. Give him the good old one, two, punch him up in the face. Smack him in the face. I'll tell you that. Best strategy. Except if you miss. Who needs combat when you just got this thing? Also, I don't know what that is. He's trying to reach for the eyes. And so we defeated him, because why not? Well, I guess that calls it a day. <laughs> but Metamok is the one I remember best. Metamok wanted to teach me everything he knew, and he was also trying to hurt me. As he did? I don't know the reason. Maybe he didn't need a reason. Hi, Mr. Man. What have you learned? I have learned that you are a big creature. Three more creep. skills and you will be ready. Ready for what? Three more skills Just and count. you will be ready. First, use your strong punch to break your enemy's defense. Use that moment to kick. So basically, if some dude's blocking, you can do a strong punch and then do a kick right afterwards. And it's a good, like, combo to, to use. Combos is always a good thing. You can also keep trying to beat him up. So now he's gonna try and do a punch. Oh, that was terrible. There you go. Quick succession, you can do, like, a hook right afterwards. Your blocking is predictable. Man, I've tried punching rocks. You can always know what how to beat them. I will hit you. You could deflect my attack. So what you can do is that just as you get hit, you can basically hit space and it'll automatically counterattack. You can also do a nice little combo there to kick him over. This guy is a nice little tutorial guy. I'm ready for what? Oh, he's just gonna casually push me off. Where are you going? Freaking Metamark. You're Metamark. What is he doing? Yeah, it's a good thing. Mmm, that's some good jerky. Why'd he go over there for the first one? Mmm, tasty. Oh. Every time I close my eye. Oh my gosh, there's three of them. So we have to fight three of them. Give him, give him the good old punch. He's gonna get on the ground. And weird combos, let me tell you that. But this guy is a bit tricky. So you, the best way to beat him is just to use all those techniques that we learn. But really, he's just gonna fight you one. Oh, uh, I don't know about the one at the time. They're not that strong, they're, they don't have much health. Like, look at that. Just, just killed him in two hits. Push me from the back. I don't know. See, I'm worried about that guy okay, right there. There he goes. Punch. There you go. Oh, we still got more of them. Give him a good all one, two in the face. Ow. I guess not. You don't want to be hit in the face, do you? Man, you can hit people so far in this game. It's like, whoosh! Oh, come on. There you go. There's an even achievement for that. And then this guy's just like... Eventually, you get so good. And then you just kind of start beating up the actual guy. What? Okay. Yeah, them combos. Ow. I'm trying to dodge. There you go. Now, this guy does have a lot of health. And he's probably like, I don't know, count him as a boss? I mean, he's a pretty, pretty important character. Easiest way to get some free hits is just to do that kick. Now, I don't believe there's any health anywhere. Nah. You just have to kind of wing it. Ow, like... There you go. Punch. 
I've got less health in it, which is not as ideal. I don't know whether he's doing like a long attack or a short attack. Oh gosh, oh. There we go. Knocks him over, get some free hits in there. And then his hat comes off. That weird kick move from earlier? He's a bit creepy looking with his hat off, you know? Sometimes when your stamina goes, you, you can just kind of run away from the fight a bit. Here we go, give him a good old punch. Oh. Yeah, like, weird kick moves. Come on. Punch, 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 keep punching him in the face. Hey, uh, kick. Do we like being kicked? I don't know if I can kill him with the kicks. One good punch at the end. Oh, 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 no. And so he just kind of... Chugs you basically. You are satisfied and do what you feel you must do, no matter what that is. And you have reached perfection. And then he just kind of kills himself, I guess. And then he killed himself. Okay. That's a cackin' weird story. Cackin'. If that is what the core would of the free are like, I don't want to stay here. We can go past the woods, farther away. Beyond the desert? No one ever comes back. No one ever... No one ever goes to Ravenholm. So 